In this video, we are going to talk about pipeline performance. Pipeline performance basically means the improvement in the speed if we use the pipelining process. For that, firstly, you need to understand the concept of space time diagram, which is illustrated here. These 1 to 4 are the segments, and these 1 to 9 are the clock pulses where T1 to T1 to T6 are the tasks to be performed. This is the space time diagram denoted here. This diagram shows basically the six tasks T1 through T6 which are executed in four segments. Now initially in the first segment and the first clock pulse segment 1 is busy with T1. After the first clock, that is the second clock, segment 1 will be busy with T2 and segment 2 will be busy with T1. Continuing in this manner, the first task that is T1 will be completed after the fourth clock cycle. And from then on, the pipe, that is the pipe basically completes a task every clock cycle. That means after the 4th clock cycle, in the 5th clock cycle T2 is getting completed, in 6th clock cycle T3 is getting completed and so on. In the 9th clock cycle we will complete the 6th task as well. So this is the space time diagram. Now coming to the concept of pipeline performance and generalizing the idea. Let's assume that we are having K segment pipeline. Number of segments we are assuming to be K and clock cycle time to be denoted by TP where P is for the time in pipelining process and the number of tasks is N. Now because if you are talking about the first task it will take those many clock pulses as are the number of segments. Therefore, for first task that is T1, KTP time is required to be completed. Because here the number of segments was 4 and therefore the time required was 4 clock pulses. And remaining task that is N minus 1 task, which are the remaining ones, will be completed at a rate of one task per clock cycle after the completion of first task. Therefore, it will be n minus 1 tp. Right? So, the total time will be ktp plus n minus 1 tp. This is for the first task and this is for the remaining task which will be k plus n minus 1 TP. So this is the total time required for the pipelining process. Now for non-pipelining, let's assume the time to be denoted by Tn for each task. Therefore, total time will be Ntn where n is the number of tasks. Now S, capital S, which is the speed up ratio, is the time for non-pipelining upon the time for pipelining. We get this formula. As the number of N, that is the number of tasks increase, N will be greater to K minus 1. If we increase the value of N, it will be somewhere very large from k minus 1 which will tend towards n. Therefore, s will be equal to n tn upon n tp which will result in tn upon tp. Now, if we assume time to process a task is same. That is, Tn is equal to K 
TP. So KTP replacing TN by KTP from this assumption, it will give S is equal to KTP upon TP which will be K. Therefore S is equal to K. Speed up ratio will be equal to the number of segments taken in the starting. Let's illustrate using an example. Let the time to process a sub operation using pipelining that is TP be 20 nanosecond, K is equal to 4 and N is equal to 100. Now we need to find the value of speed up ratio that is capital S. So in pipelining process we have total time K plus N minus 1 TP which will be equal to 4 plus n minus 100 minus 199 99 tp is 20 that will be equal to 2060 nanoseconds now for non pipelining we assumed tn equal to k tp which will be equal to k was taken to be 4 tp is 20 which will be 80 nanoseconds and because total time is n tn which will be 100 into 80 is equal to 8000 nanoseconds for all the 100 tasks now as from this we know s is equal to tn upon tp that is 8000 upon 2060 which will give an answer 3.88 which is approximately equal to 4 and here we are not getting the exact answer 4 but as you increase the number of tasks you will also get the answer 4 but it is almost equal to 4 which was the number of segments assumed. So we can relate to the conclusion here. So this was all about pipeline performance where we came to the conclusion that using pipelining speed ups the calculation and the performance by a factor of K, which is the number of segments in a pipeline. Thank you.